Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have x plus y equals 3, x y equals 9. We solve this problem for the values of x and y. So here we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now in the next step here first we focus on equation number 1 and our equation number 1 is implies that here we move this x to the right hand side and it is written as y is equals to 3 minus x and we call this is our equation number 3 and in the next step here we need to substitute this value of y in equation number 2 so that our equation number 2 is implies that this is x y and uh, the value of y uh, is 3 minus x is equals to 9 okay we substitute this value of y here and uh, after this step we uh, multiply this x on both of these terms and it is written as 3x minus x square equals to 9 so here we move uh, these two terms uh, from left hand side to the right hand side because this is quadratic way but not right into the standard form so we move these two terms in the right hand side and it is written as uh, x square minus 3x plus 9 equals to 0. So this equation uh, is written uh, in the standard form of quadratic equation. So now we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 9. So here we use the quadratic formula and you know that quadratic formula is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So now we substitute uh, the values of a, b and c in this formula and it is written as x is equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1 okay so here we need more simplification and we write it as this is minus times of minus becomes plus 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square and a minus 3 square becomes 9 minus 4 times of 9 becomes 36 okay it is divided by 2 and now in the next step here uh, we subtract these two values and it is written as x equals to 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 36 and 9 minus 36 equals to minus 27 and it is divided by 2 okay so here uh, in the next step we have x is equals to 3 plus minus we write this 27 as 9 times of 3 into we write this minus 1 as square root of minus 1 it is divided by 2. And uh, in the next step we have x is equals to 3 plus minus we know that uh, the square root of 9 is 3 into square root of 3. And the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2. Okay, so these are the two complex uh, roots of the given equation. For uh, two complex uh, values of x. So now corresponding to these values of x, we need to find the corresponding values of y. So that in order to find the values of y here we need to copy down the equation number 3 so that our equation number 3 is implies that uh, y equals to 3 minus x and now we substitute this value or these two values of x here and it is written as x is equals to 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 and the negative value is 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 okay so after this step we substitute these two values of x in the above equation so that our above equation is written as y is equals to 3 minus x and the value of x is 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 
and similarly we substitute this value of x here and it is written as y equals to 3 minus x and the value of x is 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 okay so uh, after that uh, here we need to take the lcm of this term and its lcm is 2 and we get here 2 3 is 6 and we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so we get the value of y is equals to 6 minus 3 is 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this okay so now we move towards our second case and in this case we need to take the LCM of this term and this LCM is 2 and we get 2 3 is a 6 and we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota okay so here we get the values of y equals to 6 minus 3 is 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the two value these are the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this one okay so finally we have uh, the two solutions of the given equation are the first solution is x y equals to 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and the second solution is x y equals to 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 so these are the two solutions of the given equation and now we have the time to verify these two solutions so in order to verify these two, two solutions uh, here we need to copy down the given two equations so the first equation is x plus y equals to 3 and the second equation is x y equals to 9 and now here i can just verify the first solution and i can left the second solution for up to you uh, you or uh, you verify the second solution by yourself uh, so here first we verify the first solution and now we substitute the values of x and y here so the value of x is 3 plus uh, 3 into uh, square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 plus the value of y is 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 equals 3 here we check is this equals to 3 or not so now we take the LCM of this term and you get here 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota plus 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota and we check is this equals to 3 so these are 2 cancelled by each other so you get 3 plus 3 is 6 over 2 and 2 3 is a 6 so you get 3 is equals to 3 okay so this shows that uh, the values of x and y satisfies the first equation and now we verify the second value second equation so here you have the value of x is 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 equals 9 and now in the next step here we multiply these terms and you get 4 into 3 square minus 3 into square root of 3 iota square equals to 9 and we know that uh, uh, here we move this 4 to the right hand side and we know that 3 square 9 and this 3 square is 9 into 3 into iota square equals to 4 9 is a 36 so you get 9 plus 27 equals to 36 this iota square equals to minus 1 and this minus minus becomes plus so 9 plus 27 is 36 equals to 36 so this also shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side uh, so uh, finally we say that our first solution is satisfied the given equation and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos